What's up everyone? Welcome to Asher Talks Movies. Today's video is a review of The Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. It's the latest from director Guy Ritchie, starring Henry Cavill, Alan Richson, and Aza Gonzalez. Inspired by true events, the movie follows a top secret group of highly skilled soldiers recruited by the British military for a mission against the Nazis. Before I jump into the review, a quick plug. Don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up with all the videos I post here on the channel. Now for his latest movie, Guy Ritchie looks to World War II to tell the story of Operation Postmaster. Now this was an actual British special ops mission that's credited with helping turning the tides of the war. Now the movie itself takes a lot of creative liberties with the story, so you're not going to get a full on history lesson here. But what you will get is that signature Guy Ritchie action, a great ensemble cast, espionage, and a dose of adventure. The cast in this movie is so, so good. Everyone from Henry Cavill to Rory Kinnear all delivered really good performances. And in the scenes where the team is working together, plotting out their next moves, setting things in motion, you can really see the chemistry and camaraderie. And I actually wish there had been more scenes in this movie with a lot of the team members working together, um, often they're kind of split up in different parts of the world because they're working on different parts of the mission. But when they are together, the chemistry is amazing. Now, in terms of performances, the standout for me was Asia Gonzalez. She is doing a really great job here with a very limited role. Okay, she's she's part of the mission, but mostly she's given the assignment of being the seductress, uh, but she makes the most of what she's given. She's playing a character named Marjorie Stewart and she's doing different accents. At one point, uh, she has an English accent and I'm not English, so I can't say that it is the best English accent out there, but to me, it was very, very good, very, very convincing. She's also speaking different languages. Again, she's doing some really great work here. Um, even though her role is kind of limited. And if I were to have an honorable mention in terms of performances, I'd probably say that'd be Alan Richson. He plays a character named Anders, uh, and he is a big presence in this movie, especially in the fight scenes. And his character gets a lot of the action here. Richson seems to be having a lot of fun with this character. He kind of plays it with a wink. And again, just that big physical presence. The action scenes are also really good here in this movie. I mean, it's directed by Guy Ritchie. If you've seen any of his movies, you know he's known for his action. Um, he definitely delivers here. The action scenes are big when they need to be. Sometimes they're over the top. Uh, they're explosions, and uh, but they're all well choreographed. And you can see who's fighting who. Um, you really feel like you're put in the middle of it. And again, they're just they're just really great. Now, if I were to mention some things that didn't quite work in the film, I think one of the big things would be the pacing. Now, this movie clocks in at just at two hours, so it's not overly long or anything like that, but there are moments in this movie, especially when it's transitioning from some of the action scenes to some of the uh, heavy dialogue scenes where things either feel rushed or they feel really, really tedious. And so I think the film had trouble balancing those two things. Also, the dialogue isn't great. Now, I mentioned the characters, ensemble, cast, and how they have this great chemistry. And there are moments in this movie where the characters are talking back and forth and they have this really great banter. And often it's really funny and really witty. But beyond that, the dialogue needed a little bit more work. But other than that, uh, the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare is actually really fun and it's entertaining. Um, it's it's a great action adventure movie that has you know this really intriguing story that's kind of pulled from the history books. So if you are a Guy Ritchie fan and you like Guy Ritchie action movies, if you like war movies, if you like movies that are somewhat based on true events uh, and you're looking for a movie that has a great ensemble cast, this movie is it. So those are my thoughts on the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. If you wanna share your thoughts about the movie, you can do so in the comments. And if you liked this review, be sure to subscribe to see more content like this. Thank you.